Dealing with prostate enlargement or benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, is common among men over 50. Here are several effective strategies to manage the condition. Let's start with the medical treatments available for BPH. Medical treatments. The first line of treatment often comes in the form of prescription medications. There are two main types that doctors usually prescribe, alpha blockers and 5-alpha reductase inhibitors, 5-RIs. Alpha blockers. Alpha blockers are medications like tamsulosin that help relax the muscles around your bladder and prostate. This makes it easier to pass urine without actually shrinking the prostate. One of the big advantages of alpha blockers is how quickly they start working. If you're struggling with that frequent need to pee or have a weak urine stream, these meds can bring relief within just a few days. They're great for immediate symptom management. However, they don't reduce the size of your prostate, so they won't stop the condition from progressing. Also, some common side effects include dizziness and fatigue, which can be frustrating, especially after the first dose. Alpha blockers might also lower your blood pressure, so it's something to keep an eye on if you already deal with that. 5-alpha reductase inhibitors, 5-RIs. If you're looking for something that targets the actual size of the prostate, your doctor might suggest 5-alpha reductase inhibitors like finasteride or dutasteride. These work by reducing the levels of a hormone called dihydrotestosterone, DHT, which plays a big role in prostate growth. 5-RIs actually shrink the prostate over time, which can improve urinary symptoms. Studies show that these medications can significantly reduce prostate volume, making it easier to pass urine. They also lower the risk of acute urinary retention, which is when you suddenly can't pee at all, and you may need surgery to fix it. Another interesting benefit is that 5-ARIs can even reduce your risk of prostate cancer, particularly low-risk forms. One large study found that they could lower prostate cancer risk by almost 25%. But like with all meds, there are some downsides. For one, 5 ARIs might make it harder to detect high-grade prostate cancer. This isn't because they cause it, but rather because they lower your PSA levels, prostate-specific antigen, which is what doctors use to screen for prostate cancer. You and your doctor will need to keep this in mind when interpreting test results. Other side effects can include sexual dysfunction, like lower libido and erectile dysfunction, as well as breast tenderness or enlargement. These can affect whether some men stick with the treatment long-term. Surgical options. Now, if medications aren't doing enough or your symptoms are severe, you might need to consider surgical options. Transurethral resection of the prostate, TERP. One of the most common surgeries for BPH is transurethral resection of the prostate, TERP. In this procedure, a doctor uses a special instrument called a resectoscope, which is inserted through the urethra. This device allows them to remove the excess prostate tissue that's blocking urine flow. TERP is highly effective at improving urinary flow and reducing symptoms like difficulty starting urination, a weak stream, or frequent nighttime trips to the bathroom. Most men experience significant symptom relief after the procedure. After the surgery, You'll usually stay in the hospital for one to three days, and a catheter will help drain your urine for a few days. Recovery takes a few weeks, and during that time, you might experience some discomfort and blood in your urine. While TERP is generally safe, it can lead to complications like bleeding, urinary incontinence, and retrograde ejaculation. Retrograde ejaculation is when semen goes into your bladder instead of out through the penis, which can be frustrating for some men, but isn't dangerous. Minimally Invasive Procedures If you're looking for something less invasive, there are a few minimally invasive procedures that could be a good fit. Laser Therapy Procedures like Holmium Laser Enucleation of the Prostate HOLEP, use laser energy to remove prostate tissue with less bleeding and a quicker recovery time compared to TERP. It's particularly effective for men with larger prostates. Microwave Therapy Another option is transurethral microwave therapy, TUMT, which uses microwave energy to heat and destroy excess prostate tissue. This is done on an outpatient basis, meaning you won't need to stay in the hospital, and it offers symptom relief without major surgery. 
prostatic urethral lift, PUL. This newer procedure involves placing small implants to hold the prostate tissue away from the urethra, allowing urine to flow more freely. It's also designed to preserve sexual function, which is a big plus for many men. Surgical options, both traditional and minimally invasive, can offer significant relief, especially for men with more severe symptoms. Natural Remedies For those interested in natural approaches, let's talk about herbal supplements and nutritional supplements that some men find helpful. Herbal Supplements Saw Palmetto This is one of the most popular herbal remedies for prostate health. It comes from the berries of the Serenoa repens plant and has been used for years to help with urinary symptoms related to BPH. Some studies show that it can reduce urinary frequency, improve urine flow and cut down on nighttime urination. However, results vary from person to person, with some men seeing significant benefits and others not noticing much difference. It's available in capsules or liquid extract, with daily doses typically ranging from 160 mg to 320 mg. Beta-cetosterol. This is a plant sterile found in foods like nuts and seeds. Research shows it can improve urinary symptoms by reducing inflammation and helping with urine flow. Men who take beta-cetosterol often report a better stream and less leftover urine in the bladder after peeing. Dosages typically range from 60 mg to 130 mg per day and it's often found in prostate health supplements. Nutritional Supplements Pijum. This comes from the bark of the African plum tree. It's been used traditionally for urinary health, and studies suggest it might help with symptoms like frequent urination, especially at night, and trouble starting to pee. Pygum supplements are usually taken in doses of 100 mg to 200 mg per day, but it might take a few weeks to start seeing results. Stinging nettle. The root of the stinging nettle plant is another option for managing BPH. Some research indicates that it works well when combined with other supplements like saw palmetto. It's thought to help by reducing inflammation and improving overall urinary function. You can find stinging nettle in capsules, extracts and teas, with typical dosages ranging from 300 mg to 600 mg per day. While herbal and nutritional supplements might not work for everyone, they can be worth exploring as part of a broader management plan for BPH. Lifestyle changes. Finally, let's talk about lifestyle changes. These might seem simple, but they can make a big impact on your prostate health. Exercise regularly. Staying active is important. Aerobic exercises like walking, jogging, swimming, or cycling are linked to lower rates of prostate enlargement. Exercise improves circulation, reduces stress, and helps keep hormones balanced. All good things for your prostate. Try to get at least 150 minutes of moderate exercise each week and toss in some strength training too. Dietary adjustments. Limit saturated fats. Foods high in saturated fats like red meat and full fat dairy aren't great for prostate health. Try to cut back and opt for lean proteins like fish and poultry. Increase fruits and vegetables. A diet rich in antioxidants can help reduce inflammation. Foods like tomatoes, which contain lycopene, and bell peppers are especially good for your prostate. Stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water, but try to cut back before bed so you're not waking up to pee multiple times a night. Also, avoid caffeine and alcohol, as they can irritate the bladder and make symptoms worse. Behavioral techniques. Timed voiding. Set a schedule for bathroom breaks throughout the day to manage urgency. Double voiding. After you pee, wait a moment, then try to go again. This can help ensure your bladder is fully emptied, reducing the feeling of needing to go frequently. Monitoring and consultation. Finally, it's crucial to stay on top of your symptoms and continue regular checkups with your doctor. BPH tends to get worse over time, so keeping track of any changes is essential. Your doctor will monitor your PSA levels, prostate size and urinary function. If you notice your symptoms progressing, don't hesitate to ask about new treatments or changes to your current plan. Action Steps 
Here are three simple steps you can start doing right now. 1. Consult your doctor. Schedule a consultation to discuss medications or treatment options. Regular checkups are essential to track your prostate health. 2. Incorporate lifestyle changes. Start by adding moderate exercise into your weekly routine and adjusting your diet while cutting back on caffeine, alcohol and saturated fats. 3. Consider natural supplements. Research and talk to your doctor about using supplements as a part of your BPH management plan. Managing prostate enlargement, especially as we age, is all about understanding your options and there's always a solution that can work for you.